I'm Jay Jackson, and in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how I lost 75 pounds in less than eight months, and how you can do it too. Welcome to episode 11 of The Chosen Frozen. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Baby, bounce. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to episode 11. Hope you're having a wonderful weight loss journey, and we are so appreciative that you would have us be part of it because we certainly intend to change the world one person at a time, one meal at a time. Now, before anything, of course, please hit the subscribe button. Also click that like, and please share this with your friends. We certainly intend to change the world and we want you to be part of it with us. Now, if you've seen our videos before, you know I break this down into three separate categories. First, we talk about the mathematics of weight loss. That's where I give you some very specific numbers as far as how my weight loss journey has been. And then we talk about the practice of weight loss. That's how I implemented those numbers and get into the rhythm of losing weight. And the final segment is the chosen. Now, if you've seen the, this video before, you can skip right past the first two. In fact, you can hover your cursor over that red bar, the timeline bar, and you'll see a blue graphic pop up called the chosen. That allows you to skip ahead to the last part of this video. But the chosen is for the more advanced chosen frozen subscribers, someone who understands the mathematic weight loss that I teach here, and also the practice of weight loss and has implemented that into their lives and their seeing the weight come off, they're getting the compliments, and what we do in The Chosen is I offer a recommended frozen food that I use to help me lose the weight. Now, let's get right down to it. The mathematics of weight loss. Weight loss is very simple. It is not as complicated as people seem to make it be. Basically, this is what I did, and this is what I do. I consume 300 calories every three hours, 300-ish calories every three hours every day up to 2,000 calories. That's it. That's the bottom line. That's all you need to do. That's all I needed to do. Consume 300-ish calories every three hours, every day, up to 2,000 calories. And once I started doing that, the weight just started dropping off. Take a look at this picture. This is from October of 2018. Completely out of control. Weight just all over the place, just blowing up. Didn't even realize it, you know, because I'm doing pretty good. I'm on TV shows. I'm in movies, having a happy life. But it really wasn't paying attention to the weight until my doctor said, hey, you have high blood pressure. And then it hit me. We put together a plan. We put together some numbers. And I worked out those numbers down to what we see today. 300 calories every three hours every day up to 2,000 calories. Now, let me give you some specifics of what that looks like in my life. And these numbers I'm about to show you are based on several months of just averaging out numbers. Sometimes it's lower or higher than what you're going to see here. But these, these are the basic average numbers. Eating 2,000 calories, around 2,000 calories every day. Usually I was around 1,800, but I gave myself 2,000 as the limit. But between 1,800 and 2,000 calories, I would lose 0 0.3 pounds every morning on average. Okay, it doesn't sound like a lot, but if you give that a week, that turns into 2.1 pounds per week. Over a month, these are average numbers now, 8.4 pounds. Sometimes they're higher, sometimes lower. And then 10 months would be 84 pounds. Now, if you are a person who has been battling weight all of your life, you know that 84 pounds is a great number. It's a good indicator that you have finally gotten control of that beast that has plagued you your entire life through all the diet, through all the ups and downs, through all the yo-yoing. If you get to 84 pounds, that's a pretty good sign that you will now have control over it. And I have absolutely no doubt that it would be 84 pounds in 10 months. At, the ta at this time of the taping, I haven't been doing this for 10 months, but there's no doubt about it because I know the numbers. The numbers are 300 calories every three hours, every day, up to 2,000 calories. That's what I consume. I know that in the morning, I'm going to be down around 0 0.3 pounds. I know that by the end of the week, it's going to be 2.1 pounds. I know by the end of the month, it's going to be 8.4 pounds. And I know in 10 months, it's going to be at least 84, probably more, 84 pounds, though. That's what my numbers are showing right now. And that's how you can gain, gain control of your weight by understanding the mathematics of weight loss. <laughs> And welcome to the practice of weight loss. See, we already established that the mathematics of weight loss for us will work. 300 calories every three hours, every day up to 2,000 calories, right? Well, the critical part of this whole program is to understand that you will become so dedicated to certain time slots of the day when you eat, you will know you have control over your weight. 
based on these time slots if you stick to them. Okay, 300 calories every three hours, meaning we're eating in three hour intervals, right? Well, I start to eat generally around eight o'clock in the morning. So that means my 300-ish calorie meal at eight o'clock is all I'm going to need because I won't be hungry for three hours. So that gets me to my 11 o'clock, right? So from eight o'clock to 11 o'clock is three hours. So at 11 o'clock, I have another 300-ish calorie meal. And then three hours after that is two o'clock. And then three hours after that is five o'clock, another 300-ish calorie meal. And then finally, again, eight o'clock, another 300-ish calorie meal. And those times of day have become critical of my life, for my life. Anything I do, everything I do revolves around those times of day, eight o'clock, 11 o'clock, two o'clock, five o'clock, eight o'clock. And that's how you'll be able to rattle this off once you get uh, into this program and accept it into your life because you'll start to see the weight come off and you won't want to do anything else as far as losing weight because this is finally control of weight loss. This is control of that monster that has plagued you. You have finally put the reins on this thing if you go by this program. Again, eating 300 calories every three hours. So that's eight o'clock, 11 o'clock, two o'clock, five o'clock, eight o'clock. Some people start later in the day. Let's say you start at nine o'clock. Then your meals are gonna be nine o'clock, 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, and nine o'clock. All 300-ish calorie meals that will get you up to 1,500 calories or so, but you know, that's far from the 2,000 calories that I give myself. But that, you know, between those meals, you're gonna have things like coffee and sometimes some gum or maybe a piece of cake. So at the end of that eating period, from you know, eight o'clock in the morning to eight o'clock at night, you may end up with like 16, 1700 calories. That's fine because you still got those 300 left to play with to go to bed with. So remember that the times of day in which you eat are important, critically important. Some people start earlier in the day. Some people start at seven o'clock. So it would be seven o'clock, then 10 o'clock, then one o'clock, then four o'clock, and then seven o'clock. You will drill those times into your mind because that will be the key for you that you will see the weight coming off if you're eating around 300-ish calories every three hours based on those time slots. So that is the practice of weight loss. Once you, are get, once you get used to that, practicing weight loss, just like practicing anything, if you do it enough, it becomes second, and second nature. And that's what weight loss will be to you once you establish the practice of weight loss. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Baby, bounce. Hey friends, welcome to The Chosen. Now, if you're new to this section, this is where we have the people who are more advanced in The Chosen Frozen uh, plan because they're used to the 300-ish calories every three hours. They know what their time slots are, whether they start eating at eight, nine, or seven o'clock, whatever time they start eating. You've seen the weight come off, you're getting compliments, your life is changing. And this is a section in which I give you some very important tips. Number one, there are zero food restrictions. A lot of questions I'm getting from some of the people who are doing this is what can I not eat? Well, again, you can eat anything you want. You can eat pizzas, you can eat vegetarian meals, you can eat vegan meals, you can eat gluten-free, whatever you want, as long as you keep it to around 300 calories every three hours. There are zero food restrictions on this plan. This is unlike anything that is popular today, such as the keto or Atkins or anything like that. You can eat whatever you want. You know, you can have uh, wine, you can have drinks, you can have sugars and carbs, uh, or whatever, it doesn't matter, as long as you keep it to around 300 calories every three hours. Because see, here's here, here's two important points. Number one, you should not be getting hungry in three hours from eating a good size 300 calorie meal. So you're never hungry on this plan. You go from one 300 calorie meal to the next. In fact, I get a lot of people who say, I'm just not even hungry after the three hours. Should I eat or not? Well, that's the time where you eat something that's 300 ish calories, but it's not very heavy or fulfilling. It's like a donut or something. That's what I do. That, that to me is like my body rewarding me for being disciplined and sticking to the plan where after three hours, I'm still not hungry, but I know I need to have 300 calories because my fat burning machine inside of me wants 300 calories to keep working at its optimum level. I feel it. You know, I give it a donut or something. It won't fill me up because I'm already full. It won't stuff me. I'm already full, but it will feed that fat burner. And that's the second part. You have to imagine that there is a fat burning machine inside you, and it is. It's called your metabolism. But I look at it, visualize it as a machine, an actual machine that has a gas tank that needs fuel. And the fuel is calories, like a car. If you give it too many Calories, if you give it too much gas, it's going to flood the engine. If you don't give it enough calories, it's going to stall. And so the fat burning stops. But if you give it the optimal amount, the 
perfect amount, which is uh, 300 calories, 300-ish calories every three hours, it's going to chug along all day long and just eat fat, eat fat, eat fat at 300. If you give it too much, it's going to bog down. If you give it too few, it's just going to stall. So 300 is the number. That's the sweet spot that you want to come up with. So you got to make sure that you're not just feeding yourself. You are feeding your fat burner. That's what you're doing. You're not feeding yourself. You have to think in terms of feeding your fat burner, and your fat burner wants 300-ish calories every three hours to operate at its prime rate, and that's when you will start to see the weight come off. Okay, other part of the chosen, this is where we get into what I recommend as far as eating. You know, like I said, you can eat anything you want, but there are better choices, and one of the better choices are some of the modern frozen foods. The modern frozen food is really a wonder of food technology filled with nutrients, doesn't have all the sodium that it used to have, certainly doesn't have all the preservative they used to have, but they are a wonder of health, healthy eating for anybody who is watching their calories because you have a specific number that tell you exactly how many calories are in the food. And that's what you will want to see once you get very serious about the chosen frozen. You won't even go to places that don't list the number of calories in the food because those places could mess up your whole weight loss scheme. So you don't want to do that. You will look for foods that have the numbers of calories on the packaging or on the menu or at the restaurant or anywhere where it's listed, you will see the number of calories beside it. That's what you want and what you will find is the best option, frozen food. So today's recommended frozen food is an eating well. This is a new one for me. It's chicken and wild rice, wild rice stroganoff. All right, it looks pretty good. Again, I've never seen this one, but let's get down to it. As you know here, we color match our seasoning. So we pop it in the microwave, follow the instructions. The instructions here are pretty straightforward. Uh, cook on high for five minutes. You're going to let it balloon and then you're going to pull it out and stir it a little bit and then microwave it for two more minutes. So it's kind of a long microwaving here, you know, and of course, always you want to plate your food. But as you can see, I like to plate the food on a bed of baby spinach. The baby spinach will melt under the heat and act as more of a herb than a salad because I don't really like the flavor of greens. But if you let the heat from the food melt the spinach, it turns into a herb and you have all the benefits, all the nutrients of the uh, spinach, but without the taste. And most importantly, you will have that roughage because you will definitely need roughage if you're going to be eating these frozen foods. Now, let's get down to seasoning this eating well chicken and wild rice stroganoff. As you know, what we do here at The Chosen Frozen is we color match our seasoning versus flavor match, meaning whatever color we see in the meal, we choose from our spice rack a color of spice or herb or seasoning that matches the color of the meal. For instance, in this one, we see carrots jumping out as big orange color, right? Okay, so I'm going to go to an orange seasoning. And my standby, of course, we're going to go with cayenne because I always like a little spice. But you don't have to use cayenne. Use any other orange seasoning. For instance, meat tenderizer seasoning is orange. And uh, there are some other orange reddish seasonings that would be great for this. Red pepper or paprika or anything like that. Also now looking at the green, that's the Brussels sprouts. So for the green here, I'm going to go with mm, cilantro. I think cilantro might work here. It's kind of a color match there. We're looking at the wild rice, the brown and white. There I'm going to go with some cracked pepper. Cracked pepper would look nice there. And then finally we see the chicken and kind of the, I think those are mushrooms there. Well, the chicken is whitish, so I'm going to go with uh, onion salt here. Onion salt is going to be good for this one. So those are the seasonings that are going to be used for this eating well recommended seasonings. It's going to be uh, for the orange, we're going to have cayenne. For the green, we're going to have cilantro. For the rice, the wild rice, the brown and uh, white rice, we're going to have some cracked pepper. And then for the chicken, we are going to have some onion salt. That's going to be a very tasty treat. Now, in closing, once again, 300 calories every three hours, every day up to 2,000 calories. You're going to lose weight. What I saw was on average 0.3 pounds gone every day, 2.4 pounds on average gone every week, 8.4 on average every week, and finally we're going to get to eight, 10 months, 84 pounds, if not more. So I know that those numbers are have worked for me. They don't change if I don't change the calories. But again, eating 300 is calories fills me up for at least three hours until it's time to get another 300-ish calorie meal because, again, I am not eating for myself. 
I am eating for the fat burner inside of me. That's what I'm trying to feed. I'm not trying to feed my belly. I'm trying to feed that machine inside of me that wants to eat all of my fat and keep my body at a, an optimal weight. And that's what that machine is doing. And that machine wants 300-ish calories every three hours, every day, up to 2,000 calories. That's so simple to remember. It's, it's almost too simple. When I tell people how I lost weight, when they see the dramatic pictures like this, I tell them how I lost weight, they can't believe it's that simple. Well, it is that simple. It has been that simple. So if you have any questions, if anyone ever asks you if, you know, is there anything different that you are doing once they start seeing your weight come off, tell them, no, I'm eating 300 -ish calories every three hours and everybody can do it. That's the thing. You don't have to buy anything extra. You don't have to have any magic shakes or potions or powders or restrict yourself or buy weird breads made of like cauliflower or broccoli spears. You know, you can eat regular any kind of food you want. That's what separates the chosen frozen from anything else. We are happy people because we are satisfying these cravings that are inside of us and we don't have to do anything that is unusual as far as what types of food to eat. So thanks for tuning in one more time to episode 11 of The Chosen Frozen. We certainly, have you, ho certainly hope you have a wonderful weight loss journey. And you know what? Send me some pictures. Post some pictures here on YouTube or on our uh, Instagram page or on our Facebook page or on our Twitter page. Post some before and afters if you are seeing getting some experience of weight loss because I know there are several people who are having great experiences right now, losing 10, 15, 20 pounds, and uh, are, they know that their lives are changing and they know that The Chosen Frozen is the way they're going to live their lives for the rest of their lives. So, again, thanks for tuning in. My, Jay, my name is Jay Jackson. Thank you. Take care. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Baby, bounce. Oh. Snapchat, make it go clap, clap. I'm gonna need a nap now. Got the bed squeaking, baby girl, you freaking. No need for speaking. Look back, get a peek in. Tell me how you lie.